それでは続きましてオーナルプレゼンテーション3奈良女子大学附属中等教育学校タイトルが「食品鮮度の数値化」「ミオグロビンの酸化に伴う急行動変化測定装置の開発」「熊谷水弘さん」「指導は藤野智美先生です」それではよろしくお願いいたします。Hi,、uh, my name is Michiho Kumagai, and today I would like to talk about my research, measurement of food freshness. But before we get to the main topic, I would like you to think about the world's food loss in one year. Actually, this is real. I want to solve this problem, and I think one reason of this is we are analyzing the freshness by color and smell or other feelings. And sometimes, Sometimes we are making a mistake. And analyzing this way, there are two、uh, problems. One is increase the food loss, and the risk of it r i s e the risk of food poisoning. So I want to make a device which can measure the exact food freshness. And I made a three g o a l to this device. One,、uh, Measure the food oxidation level, which has a strong relation with food freshness, and compact and convenient,、uh, easy to use. Some of you may think you can use liquid chromography, but it's too big and it too difficult to use. So, I made a freshness analyzer, introducing FRAN. So, Fran can measure the oxidation level and it's very compact and so you can handle in your hand. And it's very easy to use. And it can be made in 2500 yen. So let's talk about、um, tuna meat. Left is fresh、uh, tuna meat. And right is old fresh meat,、uh, tuna meat. And you can see the color difference. Right is uh, black, uh, dark orange. So, what is the, so let's look at the mechanism of、uh, tuna meat freshness degrees. There is a chrome protein in the tuna meat, which is called m e t o m y o g l o b i n m y o g l o b i n And in, in that one, there is iron atom inside. And we are calling this d e o x y m i o g l o b i n And as oxidation, it changed to oxy m i o g l o b i n And finally, it changed to m e t o m i o g l o b i n So, what it,、uh, so my final goal is m e a s u r e the m e t o m i o g l o b i n s ratio. So, what are these differences? You can see the differences in absorption spectrum. From this graph, Absor absorbance at 527 will not change in oxidation,、uh, will not change in oxidation. But in 572, it only decreases when、uh, sorry, uh, metomyoglobins, when metomyoglobins increase, the absorbance at 572 decreases. So, Measuring the absorbance at 527 and 572, <coughs> you can measure the ratio of m e t o m i o g l o b i n So, what is absorbance? According to the Lambert Bell law, it depends on epsilon and C and D. And from that pro,、uh, from previous graph, absorbance at 527 depends on C, and 572. Depends on C and epsilon. So, measuring the absorbance ratio, you can know the epsilon change. And I used this part of lab number below, and so measured I0 and I. So, I will introduce how I measured I0 and I. <coughs> Using the LED and phototransistor, which can, which can measure the intensity. 
When there is nothing between the sensor, this is I0. And when there is sample between the sensor and sample absorb the light from the LED, this is I. And put them into the number below, I measure the absorbance. And this is a prototype which can measure the liquid absorbance change. And compare with uh, uh, spectrum photo photography, photographer. Um, I compare the absorbance and to know the accuracy of my device. So in verification one, I change, I check the concentration change, and I put the metamyoglobin powder into physiological saline, and made a metamyoglobin liquid, and add the physiological saline, 0 0.5 milliliter, at once. I change the concentration of it, and measure the absorbance. My prediction. As dilution, absorbance will decrease. Let's look at the result. Blue is market product, and orange is my device. As you can see the graph, the shape of the graph is same. So my device can um, measure the concentration change. I, I will talk later the differences of the graph, but it, it doesn't matter. In verification two, I check the oxidation change. I add the reducing, ag reducing agent into metamyoglobin liquid and change it to deoxymyoglobin liquid. And stirring for 20 seconds in one time, and I change the oxidation level, and I measured that. And my prediction is absorbance of 527 will not change. But 572 will change uh, degrees as oxidation. And this is the result. From the result, 527 will not decrease, but 572 decrease. So from this result, uh, my device can uh, measure the oxidation level, uh, oxidation change. And this is metamyoglobin liquid, and this is deoxymyoglobin liquid. In verification three, I use the ratio of absorbance to know, uh, measure the ratio of metamyoglobin. Because of using the ratio of absorbance, I cancel the difference between the graph, so my device can measure as same as market product. Until now, I, I used liquid sample but from now, I use yellow tuna as solid sample. And I cut into cubic centimeters, and I measured three hours in front. We, this is the inside of the device. And this is the result. From showed that the rise of the ratio of metamyoglobin over time. So it means from can measure the fruit freshness. Conclusion, uh, Fran can measure the absorbance ratio as same as market product in the process of oxidation. And without diffract, diffracting grating or other complex devices, which is in the uh, photo, uh, spectrum photographer, uh, uh, Fran can measure absorbance ratio with high accuracy, which means Fran is compact. And Fran can adjust the amplification factor which um, to measure the absorbance, absorbance uh, so it can be used for solid sample. <coughs> and Fran can make in low cost, um, 2,500 yen, and easy to use. Just press the button. In my future view, there is inosinic acid, which is one of the umami components. And Finding the relation between that uh, ratio and metamyoglobin ratio, I can measure. I think I can measure the deliciousness, not only freshness. And using uh, making a database of Fran, uh, measure the various food, and 
send to the um, collect the data from other people, you can measure unknown sample and use the database data. You can know the freshness. So this is my future view, a next level of fun. This is uh, the references is as of about. And thank you for Mr. Komeda and Mr. Matsura for useful advice and discussion. Thank you. Thank you for listening. 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 Thank you for uh, thank you very much for a nice presentation. And I'm deeply impressed by your uh, handmade photometer, which can be used to measure the freshness and, uh, with the low cost. Uh, my question is about the correlation between the um, uh, uh, rate, rate of uh, met myoglobin and uh, the level of safety of the food. Can you tell, I mean, can you tell it's okay to eat? Well, it's, uh, you cannot eat uh, by the value of the uh, rate of met uh, myoglobin. Thank you. Um, so, I success, success um, to measure the ratio of metamyoglobin, but I, I didn't have much time to know what is the deadline to which you can eat. So I want to um, research to, to me determine the deadline. So the answer is I, it's, I can't do right now, but I want to do it in the future. Okay, thank, thank you very much. And the other question is that uh, this uh, slide shows that the, the rate of met uh, myoglobin uh, increased linearly against the time, not exponentially. Can you, do you have any comments on the mechanism of oxidation of myoglobin? あ、えっと、え、その ほとんどあまり変化してないこの微妙なさを測っているので、直線のように見えているあ、to to who the customers, you know that. Who the customers uh, to sell the meat is always the uh, kind of important subject for supermarket. And uh, when I was in the United States, they were trying to uh, let the meat, particular beef, looks like fresh mm. by adding the some polyphene compounds on it. So the uh, well. So it's not a question to your uh, uh, the presentation. So that the, it's always uh, important to sh measure the uh, kind of uh, degree of oxidation of those uh, uh, myoglobin or hemoglobin, right? 
Now, um, because you are measuring the uh, absorbance of the hemoglobin, absorption of hemo uh, myoglobin, then how can you develop, extend your method to the other food, fruits or something? They don't have a red color. So that your method can apply only the uh, food which has the uh, uh, red blood, right? Mm -hmm. You can't extend it to the squid or something. So how did you do that? Thank you for asking. Um, so I don't know the, I, um, so I want to measure these samples with using the machine learning to um, learn from to um, the various freshness of each food and fr so I, th I want to make the machine learning to learn the f learn from to the absorbance change by itself and w without knowing what is the like myoglobin change or other with which you can measure the absorbance. どうもありがとうございます。それではお時間も参りましたので、以上とさせていただきます。奈良女子大学附属中等教育学校、え、熊谷さんでした。ありがとうございました。